Hey y'all, it's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're here for the first time, <laughs> jazz hands. So I am back here with another Dia & Co activewear box. And we are gonna get into this. Hold on, I forgot to hold this. <laughs> Here's the note. <laughs> so we're gonna get into this box. Um, I have been telling them that I just wanna see more color. Um, what else? Less, I don't want a whole box of rainbow curves and I like rainbow curves. I usually end up keeping rainbow curves pieces. They feature heavily in my activewear for tops, um, not so much bottoms, um, but I do get my everyday black bike shorts that I wear from rainbow curves and I love them. Um, if you're interested in those, I recommend the like premium or whatever the nylon ones, they're a little bit more expensive than the basic ones that are cotton, but they hold up for, I mean, years. I wear them every day, and I've been wearing this crop of the bike shorts for probably like three or four years now, and they're like in perfect condition. So, yes, um, I like Rainbow Curves. Do I want a whole box of Rainbow Curves? No, the whole point of this is to try new brands, new things um, that I maybe wouldn't pick for myself, or companies that I haven't even heard about. So um, here's the note, I'm gonna read it to you. Hi Laura, I hope you're doing well, exclamation point. I am delighted that you are back for yet another Dia Active Box. I think these latest picks will match much more closely to your life and style. Slip into the Biscayne high-waisted capri tights and pair them with the Seminole sports bra. If you have been watching my videos, you know that after the very first box, I said, never send me a sports bra. I don't wear them. I don't like them. They're not comfortable. Like, I don't want a single sports bra. Um, I wear bralettes for active wear purposes because I do low impact stuff. I don't need a lot of a situation going on and I am in fact very uncomfortable in them. So the fact that they sent me a sports bra is like, Slash number one, <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Pair them with the sports bra sneakers and the caraway twisted sleeve tee or go for the patchouli tank, which I, yes. And layer over the look with the soft Marcy jacket for added coverage and comfort. Enjoy mixing and matching the pieces for more effortless looks you'll love and finish the looks with a weekender bag, blah, 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 stuff, Cynthia. So... I'm pretty sure Cynthia is not the person who's been doing these boxes. Correct me if I'm wrong. I never remember who my stylist I always forget who my stylist is. Cynthia doesn't sound familiar, but also I have a really bad memory, so maybe she's been my stylist this whole time. Um, we're going to get into this. <laughs> I'm going to put this down. And let me just start with, um, I'm already wearing things. I hid them under this shirt <laughs> so that you could be surprised. Um, so I'm just going to literally take this shirt off and talk to you about what I'm wearing. <sighs> okay. So this is the tank. This is from Rainbow Curves. <laughs> That's why I paused when I was reading. I was like, well, I already know it's from Rainbow Curves. Um, this is the patchouli tank. This is in the size 26 slash 28. I'm just backing up so you can see the length. It hits mid butt, mid belly. It hugs a little tighter to the body. Sometimes these tanks are a little looser. This one is a little more figure hugging. I, shocker, really like it. Um, it's got that more performancey fabric. It's not that cotton, cotton stuff. Actually, I lied. So this is like their cottony fabric and this is their performance fabric. So actually this tank has both of their kind of main fabrics that they like to use. Um, I think it's cute. It's nice and thin. I also wear these as pajamas, like all my Rainbow Curves tanks. Um, so I like, they're usually pretty soft. Um, so yeah, do I like it? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, it's cute, here's the back. So it's pretty, um, like it cuts in pretty far here. If you don't like that kind of a look, there's kind of a lot of back exposed. I like it. I pretty much just want to be naked all the time, so I'm pretty into it. Um, so here is the next thing. And I, you know, oh, there's a sports bra. Uh, it's awful. I'm already wearing it. I'm just going to take this off. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know if 
you can tell, it is so tight and uncomfortable. I hate it. It creeps up. It's very long also, so if I pull it down, like, where it want, like, as much fabric as there is, like, <laughs> it's like a little shirt. Um, and here's the thing, it looks cute. I like the way that it looks. It feels terrible. I'm gonna pull this up. It's actually making it a little hard to breathe because it's so tight. So this is from Livy Active. Um, come up close so you can see the detailing here. It's like laddering. Can you see this? Yes. Um, here's the back. Just a simple back. It looks very cute. I like the colors, I like the material, I like this detailing. It's just tight. It's a size 26, which I wear in tops, but I would definitely have to go up to a 28. Um, but even so, it's two layers. So there's this black mesh under layer, and then this um, performance fabric outer. Oh my god, that feels so good. <sighs> if I relieve the pressure on my rib cage. <laughs> Um, and it had these big pads inside that had been folded over and so they were lumpy and crazy and so I just pulled them out and then it felt, it feels a little better now um, and it doesn't look insane like it looked. Um, I could have taken the sports bra off and fixed the pads and probably put it back on uh, but once I take this off I am never putting it back on so I was like I'm just going to pull the pads out. So if you like sports bras this seems like a very good one. It said on its tag, wherever it is, that it's low impact. But like, for me, like right now, <laughs> I feel like this would be good for higher levels of impact. Like it is, I am strapped in. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see, like it's really like cramming my boobs together. This is terrible. I hate it so much. Um, I can't wait to take it off. Okay, I'm gonna finish this video so I can take this thing off. Uh, did I show you? Oh, I might as well show you the pants. Also, already wearing the pants. Here they are. Sorry, my camera is not showing the full length. So these are capris, but on me they're more that seven eighths length, which I actually really like that seven eighths length. So I don't mind it. These are from Lola Getz in a size three. And when I pulled them up or um, up out of the box and saw that they were size three, I was kind of like, this is going to be like a sausage in its casing. Um, but these are great. They fit me so well. Look, there's like room. Like I'm not even like pulling really hard with my arm and I can get this much space, but they also don't feel like they're too small or um, too big, like falling off. It has a really wide waistband which feels nice so you don't have like a thin thing digging in they're nice and high waisted which I love so they can sit here on my natural waist and not fall down or roll down no um the material is really good if I'm not mistaken Lola Getz uh brand is made in the U.S. which is great I also know they're kind of expensive I'm just looking here in the mirror here's from the side they're a little bit compression-y but not like a lot. They're not like pulling me in. Y'all know I don't love that. So I would wear these, let me just say, because I think that they're comfortable. Here's from the back. They've got um, flat lock seams. The material feels very high quality. These are great. I really like these. Um, they're a bit long for me, but that is not <laughs> a surprise because uh, things are long for me. That's why they're supposed to be capris. They're fitting me at 7 eighths, or actually, truly, almost ankle length. Uh, we're getting pretty close to ankle length. Okay, I have two more things left to show you. I'm going to come back and we'll finish so I can take this thing off. <laughs> okay. really great jacket. This is from the brand NOLA, N-O-L-A, um, in a size 4X. I like it a lot. There are some things that I would want to change, but overall, it's great. Um, I really like it, and I kind of want to keep it, but I recently kept, um, I don't need it, is what I'm trying to say. I recently kept that bomber from Rainbow Curves. It is so beautiful. 
And I do have another performance fabric um, active jacket situation that is similar to this. It's like neon orange, but it's all the features are kind of the same. So if I just had like a ton of money, I would keep this because I like it. I'm guessing it's expensive. It feels like it's going to be expensive. <laughs> um, it has thumb holes for those of y'all who love when things have thumb holes. It has this zip up neck, which is nice when it's cold out. You don't have to worry about a scarf or like air getting in the top of your jacket. So it's, let me show you, solid black and then also has this perforated mesh detailing. So it has it on the arms around the elbows and then it also has it here but it's lined here. So on the arms, it's just that thin mesh fabric so you can see skin, but here it's lined in black. So you have the detailing, but the um, kind of warmth and protection of a lining underneath. Uh, it's got two pockets here. It is kind of a high-low butt covering situation here, but then is not longer in the front. Here's from the side in the back. So this is a 4X. Oh, and these these hand warmer pockets uh, zip up so you can secure things in there, which is nice. Um, the opening for the pocket is a little small. Like I have to kind of work to get my hand in. And with active wear, it's nicer when the things are kind of oversized because it's, you know, there's an ease to it. You don't have to like, all right, got to get my hand in there. Um, especially if you have these sleeves down, they kind of get caught. I'm nitpicking here for sure. Also, the arms are a little baggy you know because this fits kind of tight to the body I would want these arms to fit see look at how much it's like two inches not even stretch you can't see what I'm doing <laughs> um, and then around the hands it feels very big like that would annoy me I think I would want it to fit tighter on the arms um, and especially being in this stretchy fabric you'd think that they would cut it just a little smaller. Um, however, if you have larger arms and that is a struggle for you, this would be an awesome jacket for you to get because the arms are cut a little bigger. <laughs> um, so I would say it's definitely a true 4X size. It's fitting me well. And y'all know things will fit me here, but they'll be too tight here. But it's fitting really nicely uh, on the top and the bottom. This is a great jacket. I like it a lot. Uh, I wish that I were rich. But it's like Christmas present buying time and I... And like, you know, I'm on a budget. <laughs> okay, great, great, great jacket. So far, I love the tank. I love the pants. I love the jacket. I want to murder this sports bra. Okay, last item. <laughs> it's underneath. It's from Rainbow Curves. <laughs> All right, so this is a tunic. From Rainbow Curves, it's in this pretty purple, which was, purple is one of my favorite colors, so that's great. It's in a really thin, I'll come show you, maybe like heathered, not heathered, like almost burnout material. I don't know if you can see how thin this is. Let's see, can you see my thumb moving behind it? Probably not, this is a terrible video. <laughs> um, it's very thin, I have another top from them in black that is out of a very similar material and I love it. I love thin material. Um, yes, this is not the performance material. It's more just like cotton. So if it's thin, it's better because it'll dry faster. Um, okay, so on the sleeves, look at these cute slashes and then a little twist here. So that's very cute. I like these little short sleeves. You know, I, I prefer mostly um, sleeveless things. So I like when the sleeves are little. It is very stretchy. If you have bigger arms, there's room here for your arms. Um, let's see. The neckline is high, but it's not choking me. And then here's the fun part. I love that this is the cut. There we go. Um, I love when they do this and they just have big slits up here because then it makes it, for somebody like me who's bigger, it makes it fit, um, it makes the fit easier. So where, you know, if it fits here, it might be a little tight. Like if this were sewn together, it would be, you know, like kind of a tight t-shirt. But because of the slits, it's a little more breezy. <laughs> so I really like it. Here's from the side. If you were a person that wants your butt and your belly covered, 
this is a great top for you. Look, it covers my belly all the way to the bottom. I think it's cute. Um, I really want to keep this. <laughs> I think I like this more than the tank top, and I have a lot of Rainbow Curves tank top, so um, I pretty much think that this is what I'll be keeping, but we have to look at the prices, so hold on. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so for the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, um, here we go. Prices. The jacket that I love, size 4X from NOLA, $59. That is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And remember, you get your styling fee um, taken off of the price of an item. So if I kept one item and it was that jacket, it would only be actually $40. Hmm. Um, okay, this top, Rainbow Curves 4X, $36.95. Uh, the tank top from Rainbow Curves, the Patchouli Tank, 4X, $35.95. These Lola Getz um, Biscayne High Waisted Capri Tights, 3X, $70. Um, and then the Sports Bra of Death from Livy Active. It's the Seminole Sports Bra, in case you're actually interested, um, in a size 26 for $44.95. Um, oh, okay. So, um... I'm going to keep this top because I like it and I don't have um, something like this and I don't have anything in this color. Well, I have purple, but it's not quite this purple. Um, anyway, and I like it. And so that's what I'm going to keep. I came really close to keeping that jacket, y'all. Um, but I'm like, budget, budget, budget. So this is like, what, $37? Yeah, $36.95, so minus $20. It's a little better than spending $40. So I'm being a good girl. <laughs> um... So yeah, what do you think? What do you think of this active box? At first I was feeling kind of negative. <sighs> this bra is the worst. At first I was feeling kind of negative about it because of the sports bra. And then if I look at it, I like everything else in the box. And I don't just like it, but like, I really like everything. Like I would keep everything. Now, let me say, are they meeting my request for a color explosion? No. Um, but I don't think they can meet my request for a color explosion in my size. I think that's the deal. Um, so if that's not possible, I am happy that I love everything, excluding Voldemort over here. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is a really successful box. I'm sorry if I'm like shouting at you. I keep getting a lot of comments that I'm too quiet. So I'm like trying to talk louder, which is not natural for me. <laughs> I feel kind of crazy. Um, but hopefully this means that some of y'all who have a hard time hearing me are able to hear me a little better. Okay, so I guess that's it. Tell me what you thought of this box. Um, did you like anything? If you had gotten this box, what would you have kept? And also, here's the big question. Do you like sports bras? Do you like to be like, like, it's so tight. And I know that people like the feeling of compression and they like sports bras for support, but I really want to know, like, do you, is this how it's supposed to feel or do I just need to go up a size? It's awful. Um, I mean, I got it on my body, but it was like kind of a struggle to get on, especially because it's two layers. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about the sports bra. I'm not going to be converted to them. <laughs> I'm going to leave a very clear message in my feedback that says, this was a great box, except I never want to see a sports bra ever again. I'm doing a lot of these gestures. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Um, all right, friends. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope maybe it was helpful if you're thinking about getting a Dia & Co. active box um, just to see the kind of stuff that they send in my size. I think that there's probably a difference, like a pretty big difference between what they send 3X and under and what they send um, 4 and 5X or 4. I don't know how high they go in the active box. Um, but I think there's a difference because I see people getting really bright and fun and colorful um, bottoms. And like, I never get those. And my feedback is always, please send me colorful bottoms. So I think that's what's happening. But aside from that, I'm just like saying the same thing over and over. Aside from that, this was great. 
this was really great. So I feel like a little heartened about these boxes. I've been feeling a little like, do I want to keep doing this? You know, like I feel like I get annoyed about, you know, such and such or whatever. Um, but I, I keep looking over here because that's where the pile of stuff is. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep going because this was good. I liked, I think had this sports bra, bra been replaced with another item, I would have loved everything in the box. Oh, speaking of, if I wanted to keep everything in the box, it would be $246.85. Minus $20 styling fee, minus a 25% discount that when you buy the whole box, you get a 25% off discount. So, presumably, if I had wanted to keep the whole box, I could have paid $165.14 for five really nice items. So, I don't know what your budget is. To me, if I love everything in the box, that's five things. Like, that's an okay price to me if I have the money to spend. Um, so, yeah. If this bra had been something I liked and I had the money, I would have kept the whole box. All right. I don't think I need to say anything else. <laughs> All right. Um, have a great day, y'all. Please, I hope that you feel loved and supported in your life. And if you are not feeling those things, I'm here with you. I love and support you, even if we've never met, even if we'll never meet in our whole lives. Um, I really appreciate you watching videos and commenting and being part of this community um, and creating this awesome, kind, body positive space. Okay, I'm feeling very Thanksgiving-y, gratitude-y. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll see you next time. Bye.